Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to define one dimensional heat conduction equation. Heat conduction equation. Or you can call it as governing equation. Governing equation for steady state transfer. For steady state heat transfer. This is the figure here. I'm going to show the figure here. Thus, this will be the left face. This will be the right face. Right face. This will be Q into A. This will be Q into A into dx. This will be Q plus dQ by dx into dx into A. This will be the x here. This distance will be dx. This is the figure here. In steady state heat conduction in one dimension, the unknown field variable is temperature. To determine the temperature distribution, the governing equation should be derived according to Fourier's law of conduction. In one dimensional steady state problems, a temperature gradient exists along only one coordinate axis and temperature at each point is independent of time. Many engineering systems come under this category. Now we will derive the governing equation here. Here A will be the area normal area normal to the direction to the direction of heat flow direction of heat flow unit will be meter square next Q will be internal heat generated heat generated per unit volume per unit volume unit will be watt per meter cube first since it's a one dimensional year heat flux heat flux qx entering entering the plane in x direction in x direction that is unidirectional therefore qx will be equal to minus kx into dt by dx this is the figure here you can see here here this is the left face since it's in the x direction qx into e 
this is how you will be getting qx equals minus kx into dt by dx qx into a will be equal to minus kx into dt by dx next here you can see the figure here will come to this particular part here that is qx plus d by dx into qx into dx will be equal to qx you can substitute this here minus kx into dt by dx plus d by dx again i'll substitute qx like this minus kx into dt by dx into dx now we'll simplify this minus kx into dt by dx plus minus minus kx into d square t divided by dx square into dx So now we will take this qx minus qx plus dx equals minus kx into dt by dx. See here we have got this as minus is there this will become plus kx into dt by dx plus plus kx into d square t divided by d square into dx this will be the net heat transfer net heat transfer you can simplify further here so this will become this and this will get cancel here remaining thing will be kx into d square t divided by dx square into dx this will be equal to qx minus qx plus dx here so you can see the figure there this will become here kx into d square t divided by dx square dx into a internal heat generated internal heat generated will be equal to q into a into dx this you can take it as equation 1 this you can take it as equation 2 here adding 1 and 2 adding 1 and 2 will get kx into d square t divided by dx square into dx into a plus q into a into dx will be equal to 0 a.
see this and this will get cancelled this and this will get cancelled here therefore remaining thing will be kx d square t divided by dx square plus q will be equal to 0 here or you can simplify further here d by dx into kx into dt by dx plus q will be equal to 0 if q is positive you can see it as source if q is negative you can call it as sinks sink therefore governing equation will be d by dx into kx into dt by dx plus q will be equal to 0 this is the governing equation for one dimensional heat conduction equation thank you